Hi, I'm Pastor Matt Myers over the Changing Ministry area. I want to talk to you about the prayer walk. Now, the prayer walk is something that we've challenged everybody to do in their own neighborhoods on the first week of April, basically, March 30th through April 5th. You pick any of those times to do a prayer walk around your neighborhood. Now, let me talk to you a little bit about what that will look like. Um, why do a prayer walk? Well, to do a, a prayer walk means that we want to be unleashed. And we're talking about being unleashed in that we can't win anyone to Christ ourselves, but we know it's through the power of God. It's, it's not something I can do. I can't change a person's life. Only God can do that. And so that's why prayer is really the first step in reaching out and being unleashed. Now, what is the prayer walk? Well, the prayer walk, simply put, is where you walk around a certain area and you pray for the people in that area. You can pray any way you want, uh, talking in your own words, praying in your own way. Uh, let me share just a few keys with you. The first key would be, uh, don't feel like you have to close your eyes when you pray. A lot of people bow their heads and close their eyes. Since you're walking around, that may not be the safest thing to do. And so uh, I recommend you to just keep your eyes open and pay attention. But here are a few other keys uh, to have a successful prayer walk. One would be to form a team uh, to walk around with you. Your team could be your family. It could be the small group you're in. It could be your discipleship partner. Uh, but have a team and, and plan to do this together. Uh, second is have a plan. Uh, pick a set of 20 or so houses to walk around and plan to walk around those houses and pray for the people inside the homes. Pray for the family. Uh, maybe that you live in a neighborhood where it's possible to pray for more houses pretty easily. Go ahead and do that or, or less. Uh, but pick 20 or so homes in your neighborhood and walk around and pray for those people. Uh, another key is if you're with a team, is to pray with the team beforehand uh, really quickly together. Uh, say a quick prayer that God would bless your prayer walk, that He may open your eyes to the needs of those around you, to your neighbors, that He might help you to meet someone new as a result of praying for them. Uh, another key is to read some scripture, scripture before you leave. Uh, let me just give you a few ideas on those scriptures. Uh, one would be 1 Timothy 2.1, where Paul says, I urge then, first of all, that requests, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for everybody. Uh, Matthew 9.37-38, where Jesus talks about the harvest, and that is the people who need to know Christ. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send workers into his harvest field. And so you're just asking for God to send people into these people's lives uh, to, to talk to them about Christ. Another passage is 1 Corinthians 3, 6, and 7, where Paul talks about the fact that it doesn't matter who it is that brings the word of Christ to somebody because it's God that makes it grow. And so we're, pr we're praying that God would make uh, the efforts of whoever it is sharing Christ with the people that you're praying for, that they would grow. Uh, and the last scripture I want to share with you is Ephesians 6, 12, where Paul makes it real clear that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against uh, the spiritual forces in this world. And so that's just reminding us that whatever it is that we're praying for, that we're praying in a spiritual way because people are in a spiritual battle whether they know Christ or not. And so, you know, that's, th those are some scriptures that kind of keep our eyes on the prize. Um, the last key is during your, during your walk, here are some things to pray for. Now, ask for the Spirit to lead you and pray for whatever comes to your mind. But here are some ideas. Um, pray for God to touch the lives of those that you're praying for. Um, ask God that if they don't have a relationship with Him, that they might hear the good news and come into a relationship with Christ, that God might give you opportunities to love them and to show them Christ and lead them to Jesus. Uh, if they are Christians, pray that they might draw closer to Christ. Uh, if you know of any needs that they have, pray for those needs as well. They may be sick or having problems with their job or something else. And then just pray that God's will would be done in your neighborhood and that Satan's influence would be min minimized. So remember, it's a spiritual battle, and so that's kind of how you're praying. Um, one last key is if you're with a team to get together afterwards and talk about it and talk about if you want to do it again and pray for your neighborhood again. And so that's it. It's pretty easy, um, but it's really important. Remember to be safe out there. Don't forget to stretch out and warm up so you don't pull any muscles on your walk there. Uh, remember that we're praying for you as you're praying for others, and we would love to hear how it goes.